Hello guys, it's Hippopotamus, aka Tropic Hippo, and today I'm going to be showing you another build. So today's build is ongoing directive, and weirdly it's actually a red build. So let's just have a look at the specialization first, and that might help it make a bit more sense. So, just reading through everything, the 10% extra skill damage, that's great, that's going to help. Uh, so, 5 meters are indisrupted, so immune to shock, that's quite nice. If you put your hive down, gain 15% extra bonus armor while you're aiming a skill, okay. Pulse resistance, this one's the nice one, the 12% extra to drones and stuff like that. Um, but the main thing is with this one, we're going to be using synergizing weapon talents. The EMP can shut off other person's skills. So let's just go down to the range, check what's going on with the range, and go through the build. So, as normal, the range is on heroic, so we can benchmark at uh, an even point per video. So let's take a look at the build. Two weapons that I'm using, and the first one is the Grudge, just because of the talent on it, perfectly vindictive. So this is going to synergize nicely with the build, with the bleed effect. It's going to amp everybody's crit chance, crit damage by 18% for 20 seconds, and it's got uh, SMG and crit chance and damage to out of targets, uh, cover targets, so that's nice. Uh, the other one that I'm using is the Pestilence. The reason why is just because of the effect that stacks up. Like as you shoot enemies, you get like a little um, thing that goes over the head and it does damage no matter where they go, so <clears throat> that's really good. It's got damage to armor and it's just an all round great weapon. For the pistol, this is quite important because what I'm doing is gaining an extra skill level from the actual pistol and then also from the specialization. So you're going to see how large my hive is in just a second. Uh, the vial mask is just to add the effect of basically getting the targets down because we need to get them weak so we can you know, apply the buffs that we're going to give to the team. So I'm running a skill tier there, which is going to help me. Uh, status effect increases the time of bleed. Hazard protection just helps us not get you know hurt by our own skills or whatever. So on the chest piece, <coughs> this is quite important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the gear set first this time, and then I'm going to talk through the talents and what they've got. <coughs> so wearing two pieces gives us status effect. Wearing three pieces gives us reload speed, which is great. Um, rules of engagement on the four piece basically allows you to get status effect uh, ammo, and what it does is it amplifies your weapon damage by 20%. Now the important part of this, just skipping over the attributes for one second, is the talent. Because if you read it, it says amplifies damage by 35%. The only other thing that I've ever seen that amplifies is glass cannon. And if you look at glass cannon, it's only 30%. So that's quite a lot, um, but it's situational again. Remember, we're on our second character, and this isn't going to work all the time. So you'll be disappointed if you try it and it doesn't work straight away, but when it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it doesn't, okay? So for the player that's veteran and wants to have a build that's a little bit more rewarding on a situation, here you go. So, as always, we're looking for the tri-factor in damage, which is weapon damage, crit damage, and crit chance. So, you know, I've gone for crit damage <coughs> based on the mod because that's the highest I can roll, and then crit chance plugged in because, you know, it's the second best amount that I can get. On the weapons, obviously, I've gone for crit chance to amplify this and crit damage on the barrel with an extended mag. On the backpack, what I've done is I've gone for weapon damage, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. And also, a lot of people say that this talent isn't very good, but in this certain particular instance where in the full gear set, the trauma specialist is good because it allows you a little bit more time to proc talents. So when you're using the SMG, it'll give you that little window of extra of time to get the talent off. So we've got crit damage and crit chance with a crit chance mod and this is the glove that's been widely contested by other people <coughs> the glove yes although it does give you lower than golden gear <coughs> the glove gives you smg damage which synergizes nicely with the grudge which is going to give the team a nice little buff and also improve the pestilence so it is situationally good but you have to sort of use weapons in a certain way and we'll talk about this in a minute when we get into the range and the knee pads are just weapon damage and crit hit damage. Okay, so moving into the range, let's have a look. So, starting off, what do we do? <coughs> We're going to always start off with our pistol Y, because it's that extra skill tier. So, if we compare sizes. So, always start with the extra charge. Okay, let's move over to a group and see what we can do. Throwing it out. We can just chuck that out there. 
switch to our main weapon. And that's going to allow a little bit of extra time to proc talents that we're going to want, like the Vindictive. We can switch over weapons then. And now all of a sudden we've got all our weapons. In PvP, I would always suggest holding on to the pistol and throwing the little mine out first. The reason why is because if you shoot at them, especially with that in sync, that's going to do a lot of damage when it hits. So, we also have EMP to shut off enemy skills. Alright, so, and what I'm going to do is now just quickly move out the range and just show the stat sheet, okay? So, talents. Uh, looking at the weapon sheet. So, importantly, 60 crit chance, 98 crit damage, you know, not so great, but okay. It, we, we have ways of getting extra damage. So hopefully that makes sense and it'll give players that are looking for something a little bit different, something new to play with and I've got some very very interesting builds coming up so stay tuned, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.